Okay. Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for being here for the post-match press conference on England versus Tonga. Uh, head coach, um, Totai Kefu, and we have the captain, uh, Siali Piatau. Um, I might just quickly ask the, uh, Siali quickly on um, a comment about the game, a comment about the venue, and, and, and how you felt the team went tonight. Um, just on the game, obviously, it was, it was exactly what we expected. Uh, it was a fast-paced game. Um, I'm proud of the boys of the physicality we brought. But obviously, disappointed in the result. Uh, there's a lot of learnings that we'll take, uh, a lot of positives that we can take into Argentina next week. And I thought the facilities are uh, obviously world-class. You know, the sound, a bit of echo in there, but, you know, it's an awesome atmosphere. Um, great experience for the boys, obviously, first World Cup and first game. Okay. Any questions? <clears throat> Hands up high, guys, please. Right, we've got one right down the back. There we go. Uh, to either Tōtai or Siali, whoever wants to answer, how did you turn it around in two weeks after that thrashing in Hamilton? Um, I, I, I mean, we, we didn't play well against the All Blacks and we caught the All Blacks on a bloody good day. Um, if you look at the tape, they didn't make a mistake till halfway through the second half. So we caught uh, red hot All Blacks and, and we were poor. I, mean, I think we missed something like 36 tackles compared to their six. So um, we just needed to talk about a few things. Um, the good thing about the game was it, we could really put ourselves under the microscope, um, under the magnifying glass and see, see where it went wrong. Um, Today's effort, I thought, was, was a much improved effort. Um, we had a bit of a game plan that we, that we, we, we executed, I thought. Um, you know, they're a good team. They, 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 squeezed, they squeezed us for territory in the first half and uh, we just couldn't get into their, into their 30 to, to throw any punches, really. Yeah, we've got one just here. Um, see, Ali, uh, I think the expectation in games like that for, uh, is that England think they will, can wear a team down and then um, really capitalise in the last quarter. Uh, that, that clearly didn't happen today. Could, for, from your point of view and from being on the pitch, did you kind of get encouragement from the fact that you were frustrating England? Was it kind of working the other way around? Yeah, I think for us, obviously, in the last game, you know, we wanted to come out with that physicality and I thought we bought it right throughout the whole game. I think our discipline maybe in that last quarter probably let us down, gave them easy territory into, into our half. But um, like, like Coach said, you know, we didn't really find any, any punches in their half. We struggled to get into their 22. Um, and when we did, we weren't clinical enough to, to score points. But, you know, as, like I said, there's a lot of uh, positives from there that we can take into Argentina next week and um, we'll be straight back into the, onto the whiteboard and, and taking those, those learnings. Thank you. Um... You had almost parity in territory, and I think it was pretty much. Well, you might have actually had slightly more possession as well. Um, what can you do when you've got that? What can you do to be more effective on attack in, in terms of actually, you know, breaking through that line? Uh, there was times, I guess, where it looked like you might have a bit of space on the outside, but you couldn't get that final pass, or the the rush defence came up and sort of shut you down. What can you do to sort of, I guess, cause more damage on attack? Yeah, I think that's been an issue uh, with us this year so far. Um, I think we just need to keep chipping away at our core skills under pressure. Um, we are getting better. There's a, there's a massive improvement tonight, but there, like you said, there's some opportunities there that we're just not taking advantage of. Uh, we just got to keep chipping away. Um, I think from the source, uh, at the line out especially when we we had some plays, uh, it just broke down, you know, they got a hand through and got their hands on the ball or tied up one of our players, so uh, we need to relook at that. Um, but in terms of staying in the game, you know, I thought we did that really well. Um, we stayed in the game probably well into the second half and then they just got away from us. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Siali, 
Can you describe the experience of uh, playing opposite Manu and what sort of performance do you think he had tonight? Oh, I think it was instrumental for them. You know, we did uh, analysis on their backs and we knew they were going to go to him to get their go forward and obviously he did that tonight. Um, you know, we tried to contain him, but obviously when you have someone like uh, Manu's talent that, that gets them game lined, I think it, it helps get their forwards into the game and it, you know they can play off that. So I think that's something that we've got to improve. Um, as, as a back line, you know, obviously we're going to face some more tier one teams and uh, they'll probably look to do the same. So a lot of learnings that we'll take. Back over here. Siali, what uh, aspect of England's game were you most impressed with today? I, I think the counter-attack. Um, obviously, there were some kicks that, um, you know, we didn't execute well, and I think we got punished for that. You know, the back three were dangerous, and obviously they made a few line breaks from that. I think we scrambled well, but um, you know, we gave them some easy territory getting back into into our half uh, for those uh, kick counters. So, Ty, have you had a chance to catch up with Eddie Jones yet? Has he said anything to you since full time? Yeah, I saw him after the game. I said it was one all now. Uh, Toto, can you just talk about uh, Nasi Manu, the journey that he's had to finally, after everything he's been through, and of course with the hiccup at the PNC, to finally get back out on that field and represent his country, which is obviously something he's been quite emotional and, and talked about recently. What what was that like for him and, and for you guys as a squad to see that? Yeah, so um, emotional week for Nasi. Um, we tried to actually lighten his load in terms of media commitments and sponsorship commitments for him so he could just concentrate on the game. Uh, but we knew, we all knew as a group that um, this was important for him. Um, you know, I just had a chat to him then and he said he was, um, he was bloody tired. Um, you know, he, he needed a more game time and his lungs were gone. Um, but, you know, I reassured him, mate, it's, it's, you're lucky you're back out on the field. I think that's the first step. Um, but knowing Nussi, he's a bloody competitive person and he, he wants to give 100%. Um, we'll just keep, um, you know, drip feeding him game time throughout the tournament because um, he, he's, a, he's a bloody good player um, on and off the field. Um, important member for us. Is uh, Kurt's HIA the only injury concern coming out of the game? I'm not too sure if Kurt had a HIA, um, I think he, I think he had a throat issue, he's gone to the hospital, but I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure yet. Okay, we have one in the centre here, we'll just go down the, if you go down the side, no, that's not going to work. There So, so one area that uh, the Pacific Island teams have sometimes struggled with, particularly when competing with the likes of the English, is in the scrum. You guys didn't give an inch tonight. Is that something you guys have been putting a lot of work into? Yeah, we have put a lot of work into it. Um, but we've got some really, really good front rowers at the moment. Um, so um, they're, they're, they're playing at good clubs in good programs, and they've all played super rugby. So they're good players. Just, uh, it just seems to be at the moment that we've got a plethora of, of props. Um, so for us, um, our goal for the scrum tonight was just to hold our own, and I thought we did that pretty well. Do we have any further questions? Yep, we have one over here on the edge. えっと、I thought it was uh, it was amazing. Obviously, 
like I said, a lot of boys played their first game of the World Cup and to, to play it in a stadium like this, this world class, you know, the sound obviously was hard, hard to hear at times, but to hear the support for us and uh, especially at the end as well is uh, obviously going to be inspiring for a lot of the boys going forward. Josh, did you want to make a comment about the, the crown and the, and the atmosphere? I th thought it was fantastic. Um, it's special ground um, and to see all the Japanese supporters get behind the boys um, was fantastic and we really appreciate that. Um, the, the week and the two weeks that we've been here in Japan, hospitality has been fantastic. Okay. Do we have any further questions? We might leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, George. We will have the English press conference very shortly.